Hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can integrate this storybook component that I have created into our storefront. So based on my previous video if you haven't looked at that I would suggest that you go through that because it will help you understand how I have created it okay but what I'm trying to do in this video is the v this component that I created from you know the component which was available inside hyper UI I would like to integrate that inside the detail view of our vendor storefront so right now we only have this piece of code where you know based on this slug parameter if I quickly show you the VS code thing I'll go into the slug file and what we have done is we created the get static paths method and the get static props method right and based on that we are passing the product to this product detail component and right now we have only added the h1 tag but now obviously we would like to extend on it and do a lot more so the first step which i'm going to do is see how i can bring this over here so now because of the folder structure this is my you know storybook code base i can go inside the source component and i can pretty much copy the product view folder go inside this code base which is react vendor storefront go inside the web client components and just paste it over here and with that in place ideally what I would be able to do is import the product view component okay but now obviously there are certain fields which are mandatory I'll just open the product view component and let's go through them so I'm looking for a title a price featured image URL description these are mandatory fields right so we will need to add them so initially what we can do is let's just fake that out so with this in place what is going to happen is can you see this thing is coming up obviously this is not exactly what we wanted but the component is coming so that is definitely one step what I would like to do is if I open up my console Hmm. my developer toolbar needs to be enabled let me do that go inside the components and let me show you something so we have name whereas we are expecting a title we have description we have featured image url whereas this is right now featured asset is an a complete asset right so there are certain things which are different for this storefront when the data is coming from vendor now obviously i can you know pass the data in a way which suits this current storefront but to make it a little more generic maybe what i will do what i feel is a good approach is now obviously this may not be the best one but something which I find to be useful is let's just create a folder called adapter maybe inside the services okay and inside the adapter let's just have something called as vendor.ts and this file right what it will do is it will expose certain functions to us which we can use to show the data to the storefront irrespective of uh, let's just say you know uh, which you know backend is there something like that okay so that this can act as that middleware so product detail let's just say that is one function which gets a data right now it's any and it will return something now let's just say we do new product 
equals this as an object i'll show you why i'm doing this because there can be a little bit of um or maybe no i'll just return an object just to keep things simple okay um ah no i need to define this product type so i'll just keep it like this okay i know uh, uh, this is a little verbose but fine now what am i trying to do over here so this product view if i open it up this component over here is expecting i product detail okay why because this particular i product detail right is the product which this component expects and that is what we are sending over here right i'll just clean things up so that you know it becomes a little easier for you to understand so the product view expects a prop which is of type product uh, which is product right export interface props product and that product is of type i product detail which has these properties which means ideally this function needs to return something which is of type i product detail so then why don't we do i product detail so now immediately i will have title let me quickly get the fields right first price right this is done and what i can basically now do is over here say product detail send the product that's it so what is going to happen nothing is going to change over here obviously but if i do something like my title price is 100 description is this is something can you see this information is has started to come up here and which is you know exactly what i want right so now how does the adapter adapt what i am trying to do over here is i am saying that the data which i expect is of a type this is the product right is of type product item so instead of any it is product item let's understand what is happening so the server side code is returning me the response dot data dot product this is coming once we fetch the product by slug from our vendor service right that's the graphql query which we are making so we get the response we send the data dot product as a prop to the component and hence we are defining it over here now because this is of type product item i can easily say this function product detail is actually expecting a product item and then things becomes quite simple okay uh, we will need what we will lead, let's just destructure a few things i have product no i have data we need the name we need the featured asset okay I'll just show you what all things are coming so we have name slug slug we don't need featured asset variants variants we would need because the pricing information is over here and i would also need the description i know this is not added so i'll just add this quickly featured asset variants description and yeah that's about it so title becomes name that's pretty straightforward now variants is an array so i'll have to do something like this dot price and because that is a number i will convert it into a string okay now featured image url is going to be a problem because the way we have structured is we expect only a url but ideally our storefront has a component called asset so we will get into that the description is something which i can pass directly 
So now what we only need to focus on is the featured image URL. But if I go to Chrome, can you see the rest of the component does look how it should be. So I go to products again. Let's just say we are looking at this hard drive. So can you see the price changes, the read more, things are working fine. So then how do we get our asset, the featured image? Now in this particular case, yes, I'm going to make a small change in my component. What I'm going to do is, um, pa, pa, pa. this is not what I'm looking at. I'll go to product view. Over here, I will change this, this featured image URL to featured image. Okay. Why? I'll show you. I'm saying that this is not a string. This is of type asset. First of all, this is the contract and I'll name it as I asset because I also need to import the asset. I have made a mistake. I am thinking of refactoring it. Let me see. But as of now, what I'm saying is the featured image image is of type I asset. Now it is going to fail over here because I will now use asset component which we have just created. If you haven't seen my previous videos, asset is a component that I have created which expects these things. Okay, name being something which is optional. Okay, but then with this in place, what I can easily do is use the Next.js image component to render assets. It takes assets as a prop. And in that, I will do featured image. And then there are classes which I need to add. So I'll just copy that. And why don't we get rid of this? So now width, height, preview. Okay, the width is not available. Why? Why is that the case? Right. It is because this is featured asset and this becomes URL. Save and voila. We have our product details at a basic level. It is showing all the information which is there. I click on the mouse and can you see these things are working properly. I can obviously add a dollar figure over here because and that's what we are going to show. So maybe, you know, in the pricing, this is the title, pre-order, subtitle, price. I can add this dollar over here. Certain modifications obviously I can make inside my component when I'm using it in an in, inside a product or rather project, not a product, sorry. <laughs> right. And just to give you a hint, now obviously Vendio on its own doesn't have any rating system, but this thing looks incomplete. I would like to show something. Now obviously uh, the component can have some kind of logic where if the ratings are not provided, it will just not render it. But let's just do it for the sake of you know, having something interesting. So we have stars. And if I do four, can you see the stars are coming? But obviously, I don't want to hard code. Let's just have some randomization in place. Right? So why don't we have a small little util class. So, um, utils.ts, something like this. So we have this function, which is taking a minimum number and a maximum number. We will return Right. So we are going to take a random number, multiply it with something which is the maximum minus minimum plus one, and then add the minimum number so that we at least get that. Okay. And we are floating it because obviously random gives us in a very decimal kind of a thing. Okay. So I'll just run this in console just to give you some idea. So constant 
min equals 1 constant max equals 5 and if we do 2 3 4 4 1 okay that's basically the code boils down to so what we will do over here is this adapter will call that function get random number 1 comma 5 and we are generally good to go so refresh this time it's 5 this time it's 3 let's go to other products and let's see what their stars say <laughs> and yeah this is 5 star rating okay monitor is good the hard disk is 3 stars so yeah we are we are doing good on that front so i think you know, i just wanted to show you that we can play around with these things and yeah basically get this into working so we have our own product detail page which is showing the product obviously with the information which we have and yeah that's what i wanted to cover in this video let me know what you think about this if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel